Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, A.J. Hogue, where A.J.'s more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's A.J. with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. Hi, I'm A.J. Hogue, the author of Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click that little bell symbol and you will get all of my new videos. Why are you weak? You fear making mistakes in English. You are afraid to talk to a girl or a boy, a man or a woman that you like, right? You're attracted. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. Oh, but then you're afraid to talk to her. You're nervous to talk to her. When you're working, you're afraid of the boss, afraid that the boss will get angry or upset with you. You're afraid of looking foolish. You're afraid of looking stupid. You're afraid of making mistakes. You're afraid your pronunciation will be bad. That you'll sound bad. You're afraid, you're afraid people won't understand you. You're afraid of failure. Why are you so afraid? Why are people in general so afraid of so many things? Think about it. That fear makes us weak. Well, I'll tell you why. You were trained. You were taught to be fearful. You were trained to be fearful by the media and by, yes, by the schools. Think about it. How you were trained to be fearful by the schools. In school, number one, you got grades. You got grades. How did that make you feel? Well, most people, most kids, they're afraid to get bad grades. Why? Their parents will be upset. So they fear their parents' anger. They fear their parents' judgment. And therefore, they fear the teacher. And they fear getting bad grades, making a mistake, looking foolish. Also, many teachers, not all, but many teachers embarrass their students, right? If the student makes a mistake, if the student uh, is too loud in the class, breaks a rule, whatever, they will embarrass the kid, embarrass the child in front of everybody. And so, oh, the child learns to fear that embarrassment. Fear the teacher. Or at least the teacher's judgment. Right? You, you give a paper, and then what? All those red X's, red X's, red X's. Looks terrible. Your parents don't like seeing it. So again, another way to create that fear in you. But it's not just the teachers. Think about the other kids, too. Bullying is such a huge problem in schools. Big, big problem in schools, bullying. So the other children also create this fear, right? Because if... A child is very different. The other kids will insult them and say bad things to them and make them feel terrible. They learn to be afraid. Even if you are not being bullied, you see it happening and you learn to fear that judgment, to fear being too different, to fear standing out. Fear, 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 fear. Then when we become adults, we are weak adults. We're weak and fearful adults, afraid to be different, afraid to fail, afraid to take risks, afraid to make mistakes and charge forward for the life of our dreams. No, we don't live the life of our dreams. We don't do it because we're too afraid to. All of this fear of judgment, fear of other people judging us, makes us feel weak. Makes you feel weak. It made me feel weak. When I was younger, I had the same exact problems. All of these fears, I had them too. And I was weak. I was weak, weak, weak. 
So I understand, I understand 100%. And that's why my job as a coach, that's why my mission in life, my purpose, is now to do the opposite, to help you feel stronger, to help you feel confident, to help you live your dream life. Get rid of those fears, live your dream life. Yes, speak English fluently, confidently, but use English to travel, to have an interesting life, to get better jobs, more money, all the things you want for your life, that big dream life, you can have it, but you must get rid of the fear. You must push out the fear and grow strong. Think about it. I believe, in my heart, I believe that children are naturally fearless. Children are naturally fearless. I was out walking the other day. I'm in Japan right now. And these two girls were riding skateboards. Little girls. These two little girls came and they were riding skateboards and they came around a corner. They almost hit me. They were going too fast, much too fast, quite dangerous. I told this story on my audio podcast. So they almost hit me and I'm like, whoa. But then I looked at their faces and they were laughing with huge smiles. Ha 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 Having a great time. Totally fearless. And it was dang, they could have hit me. There was a busy road right nearby. There, it's on concrete, right? The hard ground. But totally fearless. Kids are like this. They'll ride skateboards. They'll fall down hard. Ah! And what do they do? They cry and cry. Ah! But after they cry, what do they do? They suddenly stop crying, like a magic. Stop. And then they get back on the skateboard. Wah! And they ride again, too fast, dangerous, fearless. That's our natural feeling. That's our natural state. We are meant to be fearless and strong. That's what we are naturally. In school, they train us and teach us to be weak and fearful, but that's not who we are. And inside you still, right in your heart, deep down, you are still that strong, fearless person. You just need to learn it again. You need to just push out all that fear from the schools and learn to get your strength and power and confidence back. No more fear. That's the good news. You can unlearn it. You can unlearn those bad messages from schools. You can unlearn those bad lessons from schools. You can unlearn the fear and reconnect with your power. And that is my mission to help you, to encourage you, to give you that feeling of power, to tell you you can do it, to tell you laugh about the mistakes, doesn't matter. Be like those children. Be fearless when you speak English. Yes, you will make grammar mistakes. So what? Yes, you will make pronunciation mistakes. So laugh about it. Keep going like those kids. When you do that, when you're fearless, you go forward in life so much faster. You go to your dream life much, much faster. You succeed in everything much, much, much faster. Fearlessness is a superpower, and I am here to give it to you. Go to EffortlessEnglishClub.com, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. New audios every day on my blog at EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Be strong. Do not fear. See you soon.